All right, this morning we had a debate. Actually, this morning I had a debate about uh, um, grounding the audio or not grounding the audio. This is going to be a test to see if we need to ground the audio or we don't need to ground the audio. Um, I'm going to have my phone on a uh, amount and hopefully this way we will be able to uh, show you much of the stuff that's going on here. So on the screen you see the image coming from my spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer is tied down there on the table and one meter from that we have the video transmitter and at this moment on the top there is a monitor as well so we see the image which is coming through and uh, the camera with the microphone on it and I don't know if I can you can see this but there is a tiny mic there right we have the audio signal connected but I also clip the cables here the ground and the audio so I can actually touch them when I need them to ground them together I can remove the audio from here pretty easily and uh, we run this on a 25 milliwatt video transmitter so that's an immersion 25 milliwatt video transmitter, what we see there. And we are going to broadcast that image to a spectrum analyzer, which is one meter away. And there is going to be the image on the screen. Now, the middle of the screen is set to 5740 megahertz with a 15 megahertz span. So we can see 15 megahertz one side, 15 megahertz the other side. So we should be able to clearly detect the audio um, carrier there and the video carrier. So at the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the power to the video transmitter alone. At this point, there is no camera, no audio, nothing is connected. You see, there is a black video coming through to the monitor. It used to be static a minute ago. And right there on the screen, you see clearly in the middle, a beautiful black video signal, right? So this in the middle is our video carrier. There is no audio carrier anyway on this signal at the moment. This is our video. It's a black video. There is no video being transmitted at this point. That's why it's a beautiful shape like that. This photon on the side, that's probably coming from my wireless router, so ignore that at the moment, okay? If we are going back to the transmitter, and at this point, we are going to connect the camera with the video and with the audio on. At this point, on the monitor, you can see that there is an image coming through and uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can somehow push the volume up on this one. I just didn't figure it out yet how, oh, sorry, wrong button. There, volume, up. If I go up with the volume, I can scratch the microphone or blow into it and we can hear that there is an audio carrier going on. At this point, if we turn our view to the display, you can clearly see that there is a video signal in the middle, and on the left side of it, that's your audio carrier. So this is our video signal, and that is our audio carrier there, right? Video signal is being kind of a flake in the middle because that's the image what we are getting. If I cover the lens with a black uh, black foam like this and it's going to be black without transmitted take a look at that we get almost the same image as we had before when there was no camera connected and clearly on the left side that is where your audio signal is that's your audio carrier now i remove the foam i'm going to come back and i will remove the audio signal this time so the audio wire is out i hope you can see it in my hand
right? That's the audio wire. It's out. It is not grounded. It's just being left hanging in uh, in the air. So it's like you would not connect the audio at all. At this point, if I come and I scratch the microphone, there is no noise coming through, which is confirming that I removed the audio. So blowing in it, there is no noise coming from the monitor. So at this point, turning our attention back to the spectrum analyzer, you can again, you can see the image clearly identical to where it was before. So audio coming through or audio being disconnected it still transmits your audio carrier. I'm going to cover the camera right now with the black foam. There. So you can clearly see the video carrier in the middle, audio carrier on the left side, same amplitude, same bandwidth as it was before. And this is with the audio disconnected. Now then for the next text, what I will do is I will ground the audio. Okay? The way I ground it is that I will I pinch two cable disc two cables and I will pull the audio to the ground there so these two are interconnected now clearly. Okay? And I'll bring the camera over this so you can see what I did. There. You can clearly see that that audio is grounded to the green pin right now. We still have the image on our display, the same way as before. If I scratch the microphone, if I blow into the microphone, nothing changes. So at this point, turning my view back toward the monitor, I can again clearly see that the audio carrier is there together with the video carrier. I will cover the monitor with the black plum, foam. And at this point, you can all also see video carrier, other video carrier side by side. So same amplitude, same bandwidth on both. So at this point, this is clearly showing you that grounding the audio does not make any difference at all in your video signal or in the other one. If you leave it hanging, if you leave it transmitting, it will not make any difference, right? So if it's transmitting. Anyway, that's about this test. I think that's the physics lessons for today and lesson for uh, um, all of those who believe till now that grounding the audio will do miracles to your video signal. Actually, it does not. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And Joe, I see that you were here. I don't know if you're still here, but if you are still here, the XM Plus yes, is in stock. The RX8R, it's out of stock even with the manufacturer. You guys have a great Saturday afternoon. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.